I guess. Shrug. Oh, and that's it. So, apparently you created a bit of a stir at the Greenwood Ball. I heard you dance with Reyna of Sandworth, something of a social climber, that one. She could be just, just right for someone in your position. I'm sure we'll heal her from here soon. Give it a few weeks. Alright then. Uh, and I think we're ready to fight. Waldley. Eh. I'm surprised Waldley's still on the list. Ooh, 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 I missed it. She hit level 16, though. She learned some thing. I, I didn't catch what it was, though. Oh, I'm so excited. Galliana. Maybe she'll use it, I don't know. I'm trying to remember what it was. I don't think it was a buff. I'm hoping it's a big fuck you attack that hits like three to, I don't know, nine, ten times? Ten times would be good. I'll take an attack that hits ten times. That'll be, uh, that'll, that'll be okay, I guess. You'd be alright. Oh, come on, just die. Just die, come on. Stop it, stop it. Just, come on. Yeah, fine, guard, whatever, tackle, 300 damage, just get him, dead, god. He's hanging on by a thread. See, and this is a uh, shadow kick. Well, that, that's not really fair because he was holding up a shield, so it did like fucking nothing. But, the hell shadow kick? What's that do? I don't know. He's dead now. Rarely disappoint. I never disappoint. I'm always the best. I don't want to see your king, though. I never want to see your king. Ever. I actually don't remember who he is. He's the blind guy, right? He's, um... I think we're past this huddle, actually, for everybody. Two more weeks. Two more weeks. Scribe published a thing. Closest rival factions anonymously, of course. May increase their reputation. This week's had to say that we made a small loss. Ah, That's fine. Keep on keeping on. Because, again, I have nothing to spend money on, so... Making a shitload of money is basically just for stables, whatever that is. I don't know what that's going to be all about. And uh, then wages. So having a lot of money just means I can skip weeks, really. Which could be good, because I can do the um, the bathhouse training, apparently. I can somewhat reliably do. I, I imagine that's going to be plus two for, um, for two different stats, depending on which person you're using. That's how, I, uh, how I'd guess that works. I think our story's almost finished. Just gonna pass on giving guys gifts doesn't seem to do a whole whole lot. How do you feel about fighting in the arena? I don't mind it. Sure beats working down in the mine. People will get hurt sometimes, but that's just the way the world is. I feel like we already kind of had that discussion. Survive the strongest, ain't that right? We'll see how long you last. <laughs> about master. <laughs> it's the way things should be. Yeah, I agree. Only the weak will tell you otherwise. But folks like you and me know better, don't we? Yeah, no bonus there. I mean, our reputation with them, or relationship rather, is pretty high. We're over 10, I think, with everybody. Uh, 111. 13. 14. 12. Um, so I don't know at what point I can, like, recruit them as, like, a career fighter. Not really sure. I'd imagine she would tell me about it at one point where it's like, this person is thinking about buying their freedom. You could just purchase them, blah, blah, blah. But like, oh, okay, I'll do that then. I don't know. I've already made the investment. I got nothing else to do. We're going back to Stonyford. Okay, we'll try it. Mm. 
As long as we win like a fight here, I'm happy. It's a lot of money. That's just the way it is. Galliana. Good luck. King Harbin's champion, no easy defeat. The King. The Wildly guy, though? Really? Mm, okay, hold on. Wait a minute. Galliana, right? Yeah. It's. The champion of Greenwood's not. Like what? That's like two tiers ago, isn't it? I guess he'll be high level, so he'll have like the level 16 and it looks like level 20 ability as well. I might be a little wrong about that. So curious to see what Shadow Kick exactly does. It was kind of difficult to tell before because it only did 70 damage because the guy had a little shield up because he's a bastard. So. I like to think it just does a shit little damage and then has some debilitating effect afterwards. There you go. One thousand gold? Oh, eight hundred. What about betting? Six hundred from betting. Answered of Stonyford. A tower. A tower with an axe. Knocked off the perch by a bear. He'd be training very hard to reclaim that title. Uh, yeah. Go again. Look at you, you look pretty nice. Ooh, shadow kick. <gasps> uh oh. Is it uh, the type of thing where it's like really quick to do then? So I can like immediately do it right after attacking? Or was that just I'm just that much faster and I got two turns in a row? Come on! God! Counterattack! Piece of shit! Ah. So frustrating when this happens. Just is like, yeah, all of a sudden counterattack, 100% success rate. Yeah, I'll just spam it. Ugh, we should win this one. extra one health left. Shit. Shadow kick. Yes. <laughs> one health left. Uh, shadow kick doesn't seem that good though, but we'll see. you so yeah shadow kick might not be that good but we'll see about their uh, their top tier ability we'll see what that's like um because otherwise like end 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 game i might not be using shadows i'm not sure it could be blazing foxes or it could just be bears or it could just be war i don't know if fucking i don't know level 16 level 20 abilities are uh, sort of game changers and you are yeah you're yeah it's yep Your agility and reflexes still aren't that great. Like, you compare it to, like, Boltoff, who's got his best gear. He's, like, over 100. Over 100 attack, 97 defense. His agility and reflexes are a bit low, but you compare that to, like, Wometa. It's just like, oh, this is my, this is my end game. Ugh. I mean, you're just, like, DPS race is all you are, I think. I'm gonna try it. Wometa the Proud. Good fucking luck. 
Wait. Yes, we'll meta. Oh, they're letting children in the arena now. Yeah, so what if they are? Oh my god, you have edited it. Knocked him down. Oh, no you didn't. He just wounded him a lot. Holy shit, we won though. So this was an interesting one because last time we came here they were using like their really high-end abilities. This time around they didn't. Like this guy did once and we evaded it. And if we didn't evade it we would have gotten our ass kicked. But. Somehow we managed to do it. Oh, I enjoyed watching that. My compliments to your fighter. You've also won a large share of the betting purse. 600 gold. Winning the tournament here at 24 will greatly increase the prestige and recognition of your faction. It's quite an achievement. Certainly something to be celebrated. Hey, Queen Grishild has retired to the feasting hall. I'm sure I could arrange a private audience before the feast begins. Would you like to take an audience? Sure, I'll take the title. Why not? I love watching the tournaments and betting on the fighters. It's a bit like playing with dolls. All right. So you're the master of House Krug, I take it. I have heard much talk of your accomplishments. Forgive me if I do not seem to share the joy of your achievement today. There are many things weighing on my mind. I'm here to serve if needed. I wonder how King Adamar would feel about one of his subjects offering service to me. I appreciate the gesture and don't worry. I'm sure I won't hold you to your word. Mm. Let's move on with all this. Your faction on the honor, blah 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 blah, yada yada yada. Some shit happens. We are Wilmetta the Unbroken. Awesome. That's a cool title. It's really funny because, like, Wilmetta is most certainly broken. Like, oh my god, imbalanced, broken. <laughs> One more week for Ansel and Bolt Off. Uh, the scribe wrote another thing about Wilmetta. Reasonable profit, 13,000 gold. I had dinner with one of our sponsors this week and they had a pro uh, proposition for me. Many of the great houses tend to keep racing horses as well as fighting slaves. It is something as a tr of a tradition. Horse racing goes back as long as the arena games. After all, it is a much favored pastime among the nobility. If we're willing to put 2,000 gold towards the cost of building stables, I think I can convince the sponsors to pay me the rest. Or pay the rest. Don't worry, we'd earn that money back soon enough if we invest in some good horses. Speak to the seer when you're ready. Okay, so there's another way to make money then. Again, don't really need money, but whatevs. We'll talk to the seer. And this is the staples, and then there's the equestrian code. Ah, the noble art of horse racing. You must truly be rising high in the world. Your sponsors will cover most of the cost, but you would still need to pay the sum of 2,000 gold. Yep. Very good, construction will commence right away. And then we come back next week by the book. We're getting places. Slowly but surely. If you win your freedom, what will you do next? I have heard legends of a certain secretive group of former shadows. Apparently, they have been around for centuries. The Arcane Order. Nobody knows much about them or what their true purpose is. I would hope that perhaps they share my own goals. In any case, I would simply have to hope that they would contact me. What if they don't hold the answers? An excellent question. See, she loves mystery. I suppose I would simply have to keep searching. I have already dedicated my life to this cause, so what other choice is there? She loves that shit, and then uplifting stuff for this guy. Dude, talking to people so easy. All right, there's that. So just to make a quick check here, 360 in savings, 210, 260, 90, okay. So they win their freedom at 500, was it? So Ansel's getting there. You want anything, Ansel? I'm pretty sure you've been sitting at, uh, 
eleven for a good long while. It's still eleven. I don't know. I don't know if it's just giving it like plus point one or point two, or if we're sort of at the soft cap where that is just like there's you can't get a tire through that. So it's just you have to ace the relationship uh, through all the conversations and maximize with gifts and then you get up to 15 I think would probably be right around 15 or so and then you can do it or maybe she tells me about it when that uh when that call I don't I don't know I don't know um yeah invest 10 grand don't fuck it up Glad to say that a representative from the Merchant Republic of Wynton visited this week. We've been invited to attend their games. Great. Fucking looking forward to it. Wynton, along with Tonstead and Willowsfall, are regarded as one of the three great tournaments outside of Aldemore. In order to compete in the Royal Games, we'll have to prove ourselves in these three arenas first. Okay. So there are four more tiers then. Would you like to know more? I don't really care. To be honest. So will our faction be represented? No. Yeah, we'll go there. We'll go there, get our ass kicked at least. Our other two fighters are done training next week, so... Oh, the music. The other two fighters are done training next week, so we can use them without fear. So we'll just, uh, keep going on with... Uh, Galliana. Does Galliana have the heal? I notice while Meta's using it every now and then. Um, Galliana, though, I, I think I've yet to see it. Do they actually gain different skills? Like, you might get a shadow that doesn't get the heal every now and again. So, like, there's a mix of five different abilities, you will only learn four. But then, because I don't think the book had many listed. Maybe it's just chance, I don't know. Um, yeah, and Galliana's good to go. Who are you? Oh, you're both there. Right, of course. Sorry, never mind. I just thought you'd be in armor. That was just like some dude hanging out. So you must be the master of House Krug from Fleetfield, isn't it? I have visited that town once or twice on my travels. I'd like to see as much of the world as I can. A well-traveled mind is a well-educated mind, don't you agree? Absolutely fucking not, you're an idiot. <laughs> Jesus, what an asshole. Uh, as long as you travel with an open mind. Oh, naturally. It's no good visiting a place unless you are willing to immerse yourself in its customs. Speaking of which, perhaps you would like to join me for a bath later. No need to answer right away. Give it some thought. I know I will. Okay. Oh dear, I'm afraid your team is going to face Amelin, the Deadly Shadow. Only one woman who has mastered the arts of the Shadow more fully than Amelin. Evisia the Arcane, who fights in Aldemar. Emily has dedicated her entire life to mastering these dark secrets. Your fighters should be wary. Which of your fighters will it be? A storm is coming. Ow! Yeah, I think the Shadow Kick's just a free, uh, free attack. Maybe. I don't know. I don't fucking know. It seems powerful. Because, like, she used to do it, like, at the end of her attack, so she attacked the Shadow Kick, but this person, I don't think she did anything, and then she did Shadow Kick. So, like, her turn was Shadow Kick. So it's not a free attack. But it does do a lot of damage. When you get other people who are doing like 3-4 attacks for their ability. I don't know. I don't know. We won. I'm surprised we won. <laughs> Didn't seem that bad. Wonderful. What a victory. You'll be happy to know that you received a massive share of the betting purse too. 700 gold. Ah, it seems we'll be facing Aemon of Wainton, the Cunning Fox. Ooh, high level Fox. This will be interesting. A firm favorite around these parts. The crowd just loves him and loves them in return. He is known for having a trick or two up his sleeve. Of course, he's a fox. Your fighters had better be on their guard when facing him. Who will be facing him? Galliana again. And they do have throwing stars. Throwing stars and presumably a really powerful uh, main hand weapon, so their overall attack is quite high. So the throwing stars will hurt a lot. Throwing the sand is always a good one. 
It's just they have the, uh, the attack up, don't they? I think it was. It was something like this, some buff that they would spam sometimes. I just, Jesus, just didn't like it. But there you go, there's double flurry. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Back to tense your fighter's wounds. Galliana recovers 50% of health. Not every fighter manages to get the best of aimment like that. Very large number of bets, 700 gold. The champion of Wainton, Galaround the Worthy. Galaround is something of a mystery. He speaks a language I've never heard before, and I've traveled the length and breadth of the Crown Lands. There are those who say he comes from a land beyond the Western Sea. He doesn't like to talk about his past, though. Wherever he hails from, they certainly breed fierce warriors there. Who will represent you? One moment. Because I think it'll have to be Wilmetta. Which is not good. Because he led to, I don't want them injured, they're almost done with their training. So, um... Yeah, Wilmetta. Good luck. Oh yeah, that is a strange language, yeah, I don't... We are a Vustre Senora Maori. Yeah, I don't know. We, uh... Oh, he's got his balance again. And he got to attack straight away. Which is rare. Oh my god, we won, though. You did it! <laughs> well, Meta, you did it! Remarkable, I did not foresee that out. Yeah, me neither. Jesus Christ. Stun locks. A very large number of bets, 700 gold again. The Grand Magistrate of Wainton is a big supporter of the games. Usually he likes to take the time to meet with the head of the winning faction. Will you attend? Sure. Oh my god. Oh. Ah, there he is, the man everyone's talking about. The rise of your faction has been meteoric, to say the least, indeed. A while ago, I'd never heard of you, and now, here you are. Tell me, what's your secret? I have a great team behind me. I owe much of my success to the competence of my staff and the talent of my fighting slaves. Modest as well, eh? How very charming. Anyway, enough of my chatter. It would seem you've earned a new title. Huzzah! That's the title. Well, Meta, the huzzah! <laughs> Fuck yeah, I will. Well, Meta, the worthy. Did I accidentally hit no? A hundred endurance and three agility. Whoa. I have heard from your potential spouse that they will be in Fleet Field later today. Perhaps you should get together. I have a few suggestions of where you might take her. I am sure you're a better judge than me. If you wish to show her, show off your estate, you could take her to the top of your guard tower. Quite a magnificent view. Long way down. Uh huh? There's not much in Fleet Field apart from Ada's Isle House. Is that the kind of place you would like to go? On the outskirts of town, there's quite a scenic graveyard. Perhaps that would be a better idea. Your ideas are shit. Go to the guard tower. Come, behold. My kingdom. The kingdom of Krug. So, this is your estate. It's not as grand as the palace in Sandworth, of course, but I suppose I could imagine myself living in a place like this. It is larger than I expected. The countryside is nicer than in Sandworth. Hmm. That's not the last you'll say that. Uh. Uh. Size isn't everything. No, I didn't mean to say that it doesn't have its other qualities. Some of the buildings are quite lovely. Thanks for inviting me up here. It was a good idea. Perhaps I'll stop by again if you don't mind. Go for it. I have everything. Like, there's no way I could possibly improve on any aspect of anything. I have the best fighters, the best buildings. We got the stables now. <laughs> also employed a groom to look after the stables. You should talk to her about buying some horses. We made a small profit, 2,000 gold. Uh, 
on the 8.7, that's not that much. I thought it was able to be, like, wicked expensive. Up to 23 grand, though. Hold off on that for just a moment. Because... I need to buy the book, actually. Hold on. Secrets of the Wills, False Stable Masters, Finest First Train is around. Does it just like, do I get a horse to race and it's just like, it's better now or? I don't know. But we have, just to confirm, we have everything. We have, ever, we are officially in like the end game. Like there is, there's nothing more to do. It is now just maximizing our fighters. Do you think you can learn anything from this book? Me, learn something. I'll give it a chance, I suppose. If this book does prove useful, you might notice that your horses start winning more regularly. Aha. So, you must be the big boss then. Here's all you need to know about me. I've been keeping horses since I was a little girl. I'm sure on horseback than I am on my own two feet. If you give me enough funds to purchase some well-bred horses, I can guarantee they'll start winning some races for you. Right, this is why I didn't want to deposit any money into investments. I wasn't sure how much this would cost. Every week I'll look for a new horse until their stables are full. Just let me know when you're interested in buying one. Something I can do for you then. Buy a horse. Local Stables has a Willows Fall Plains horse for sale. Willows Fall is known for producing the finest horses around. Quick, strong, sharp of mind. They're expensive though. They need 5,000 gold. Damn. Alright. Jesus. Alright, we still got a shitload of money though. I mean, let's be honest. <laughs> Nothing inside this little room except supplies for the stables. There we go. And head into here, see if we can finish up any stories. Okay, we're done with her. So you ask them uh, about their freedom at the very end of it. Why do you fight as a bear? So there's at least one more after this. Well, I'll get the son of Bolt off the brute to fight as anything else. Besides, ain't nobody as mighty as a bear. They're just the best fighters around. Okay, so you asked them about their history, when they were really young, how they became a slave, how they became a fighting slave in particular, why they chose the class they chose, and what they're going to do after free after they get their freedom. So, I, th I think, I think that's how it goes. So we have one more conversation after this, and and it'll just be, what do you plan on doing when you're free? And that'll be the end of it then. You do your father proud. Thanks for saying that, you don't know what it means to me. Wish he was here to watch me fight, though. Yay! And offer a gift for Ansel. 50 gold, we'll see if we can get it any higher. I don't think we can. I think we've reached... I think we've really uh, reached max relationship as far as gifting goes. I think you can only get, like, plus 3 out of it. But you can get 12 from conversation or something? I don't know. I don't know. Invest 10 grand and then head off to presumably a new place. Ooh, 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 more training, actually. Bathhouse. Cause the plus 100 constitution is pretty fucking sweet. And I quite like Ansel and Bolt off, so I might go with them again. I don't know. Tell me about Ansel. Ansel is over the moon right now. Everybody is. Come on. Work on Ansel. And you work on Ansel? Damn it. Fuck. <laughs> um. Dance training, 
I mean, I'd like to be using Boltoff too. So we'll go with Ansel and we'll go with Wometa. Ansel and Wometa, so we'll use Galliana and a Boltoff for fighting. Sounds solid. And they're both already optimized, so I don't have to switch our own gear. So Galliana and Boltoff. And again, while I could use the other two, um, if they get injured in their fight because they lose due to some bullshit, to the training here resets, so... I'd rather not. Nothing new though, huh? Hmm. I thought this would have been a new place.